what is the greatest three-digit positive integer n for which the sum of the first n positive integers is not a divisor of the product of the first n positive integers? Okay, divisor means when you number 12 and divided by 4, this is 3, there's no remainder. Okay, so this number is divisor. Okay, that's it. So, first n positive integers, the product, 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, going n, which is what? n factorial, right? The next one, what is the sum of all numbers? The first means, first means 1, last means n, n number of terms n, and divided by 2, okay? If this is integer, this number is divisor. If this is not integer, this number, not divisor. Okay, that's it. So, a little simplify, right? Okay, yes. how can you simplify this one? Take a look. One n is out, two is going up, right? So, you got this one. A little move up, okay. Right, so one times, two times, three times, up to n minus 1, right? 1n is cancelled out. So this 2 move up over here, okay? So times 2, and now denominator 1 plus n. Alright? So this number can be divisor or not? That's the question, okay? So if n is 995, 1 plus n is 996. Uh, this one is maybe 997. 998, 999, 1000. Now check this number first. If this number is 1000, if this number 1000 can be divisor? Yes, because this is broken into some numbers. What is that? 2 times 500. Okay? If n is 999, m minus 1 is 998, isn't it? But inside the number, we have number 2 over here. Somewhere else, we have, we have uh, another 500, right? So these two 500 will be cancelled out. Okay? So the value of this will be integer. So 1000 is divisor. Okay? So what about 999? 999 also. 999 also, what is that? 9 times 111. Okay, we'll have uh, two numbers in numerator, okay? This one also divisor, okay? So any numbers, composite number, right? It's broken into several numbers, isn't it? Okay, all these numbers can be canceled, okay, by the number in numerator, okay? Only 997, take a look at 997. 997 is about prime number. Okay, you remember, right? 997 is a prime number. Okay, if this is 997, uh, this one is what? 995. There is no way to cancel out this number. That's right, because 997 is prime number. Okay, so this is not integer. So this one cannot be divisor. That is the largest number. Okay, so it's B is the answer. Alright, now let's go to number 10. A number 10 or ten rectangle plot that is 10 feet wide, 70 feet long. Okay, we have right seven, 171 plus square. Okay, tile, that's correct. A bug works from one corner to opposite corner in a straight line, okay? Including the first and last tire. How many tires does the bug visit? Uh, suppose this is even number, this is other number, okay? I'm gonna try some things. This is even number two. This is odd number three. So I have a diagonal. Shouldn't do that. Except right first and last point. Inside, how many intersection with the vertical or horizontal line? We have how many? One point, two point, three point. Okay. When you have three point, how many tires? The bug can cross. One, two, three, and four. 
right? So actually, if we have a three point intersection, the number of ties will be three plus one is four. Okay, that's the formula, right? But this is case. Uh, okay, case two. This is case one. Case two. Take this. Two by four. What happened? Two by four. This is two. This is four. They are both even number. Okay. So when you make a diagonal, oh, we have a what? This point is lattice point. Okay, lattice point. Okay, first we check right uh, intersection with the vertical line. Okay, how many? One point, two point. Three point, isn't it? Three point. So how many intersections with horizontal? Well, horizontal is only one point, but we counted this already. Okay, total is what? Three point plus one point will be four point, but one point they are overlapped. So we take one again. So still we have three point. Okay? As you can see, right? One, two, three. Okay? So at one, right? Three plus three plus one is one. There will be four tires. Okay? So we can count this one. One, two, three, and four. Okay? So this point is we set lattice point. Lattice point. If you got the lattice point, this lattice point is counted twice. Is it correct? Yes, it is. Okay, now try uh, 10 to 17. 10 to 17 over here. This is 10, this is 17. So I'm going to use my sum of xy coordinate, okay? 0, 1, 2, 3. Keep going. 15, 16, 17. Over here. 1, 2, 3, and keep going. 9, and 10. Isn't it? So this is diagonal. This is diagonal. So there are many vertical lines, right? 1, Two, three, keep going. Fifteen and sixteen, right? So there will be a uh, sixteen intersection, right? One, two, three, keep going. Fifteen, sixteen, isn't it? Okay. So you can find, okay, this is y, this is x. So the equation is y equals how much? Uh, slope is 10 over 17, right? So 10 over 17x. Okay, when you plug in some number x, if the variable y is integer, that point is what? Lattice point. Okay? It will be counted twice. But over here, when x change to 1, 2, up to 16, okay? When you plug in some number over here every time, y cannot be integer, isn't it? That means what? There is no lattice point. Okay? There is no lattice. So that means what? There is no overlap. Okay? So over here, 16 intersection. Here to here, what is that? 9 intersection. Okay? So 16 plus 9 is what? 25 point of intersection, right? So the number of tiles is how many? 25 plus 1 is 26. That's this, okay? Okay, that's all. So we we'll continue uh, number 11 to 15 next time, okay? All right, thank you so much. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.